if you don't have ovulation for some reason, and this is a cool system. I love talking to this church because I know you. I can say what I'm thinking. God made us to ovulate when we're well and not ovulate when we're starving, under stress, when terrible things are happening to us because who, he, he protected us from getting pregnant. When, I mean, that's the reason we have periods is to get pregnant. He protected us from all those things. So we wouldn't be carrying babies inside of us and on our arm when there was famine. And we had to get past all of those things to get this far in, in um, human development. I mean, if we didn't get that, if we didn't get past all that and we all died in childbirth because we were undernourished or our babies died, we would never be here today. So his system was... You know, if you're under terrible stress, and, and nowadays it's kind of like a common thing to be under stress, then you're not going to get pregnant. It, the old doctors, you say, oh, go home and relax, which doesn't, doesn't really work because you're not going to relax if somebody tells you to relax. That's never going to work. But you do have to think of something like, like relaxation techniques or time for yourself or something to help you get rid of the stress that you're you're feeling if you're trying to get pregnant. Now, the other things that cause irregular cycles, because irregular means either really close, bleeding all the time, really far apart, that, that's all due to a low progesterone. But, but a low progesterone can be caused by low thyroid. High prolactin, a hormone from our, from our pituitary gland, it's really good when you're nursing because prolactin gives you breast milk. But if your prolactin is high at another time, it could mean a tumor. It could mean terrible stress. And that shuts down your ovulation as well. It's why we don't get pregnant if we're, if generally, don't take this to heart because some people still get pregnant when they're nursing. But it's why we generally don't get pregnant if we're nursing all the time because prolactin shuts down ovulation. 